Hello, Chris Richter here. Welcome back again to ricochet.com.au. We're going to look at part of this series that I've created called Did You Know? There's quite a lot of things that people would not know that you can do in the Moodle LMS, and this is one of those, which is you can allow students to self-enroll in a course. That means if you have a course that you don't want to have to manually enroll students into, it might be a training course that is about how to use the platform or a course that's just something that you want everyone to be enrolled in and you want to let them enroll in it when they're ready, you can set up self-enrollment. So let's have a look at how we go about doing self-enrollment in the Moodle LMS. First of all, you may need to set up or activate self-enrollment because it may not exist or be ready to use on your server. To do that, you must be an administrator and we go into site administration, type in enrollment with one L, scroll down to available course enrollment plugins, and you should find one in there somewhere that says self-enrollment. You need to activate self-enrollment so it's ready for students to actually use. That will move it up to the top or next to where you have your other activated enrollment types. You can go into settings and settings allow you to do a few things like have an enrollment key where someone puts in a key that allows them to access the course rather than being just an open to everybody. You may want them to use a key to access it. So you can do that or a password. Uh, you can show a hint for the key as well, which is sort of useful. And then there's some default settings for enrollments that you can use. So feel free to make use of any of those. The probably important one is whether they're being enrolled as by default, a student, not a teacher, teacher or manager. In most cases, you would leave it a student. I can't imagine why you wouldn't need that as a student as the default role. But that's all we need to do. So we'll just save those changes. We can jump back to our course now. Now the course that I set up was a demonstration self-enrollment course. So at the moment, nobody's enrolled in that course. It's an empty course, there's nothing in it yet, but that's okay, just for this example. If we go to participants, you can see there that I am enrolled as a teacher. I set the course up, so it put me in there as a normal teacher automatically. But if we now go into enrollments, so this is where it's got enrolled users, and we go down to enrollment methods, you can see that we can add an enrollment method. So I'll choose self-enrollment and I'll just call it self-enroll as an instance name. These are the default settings that we could have set in that admin part back earlier. So that includes enrollment key, uh, number of people that can enroll in this as well is useful. So you may want to limit your number of enrollments or self-enrollment. Other than that, uh, we can put in a welcome message so we'll just put in a welcome message here, add that method, and you can see now we have a manual enrollment process and a self-enrollment process as well for students. So let's go to a student and see what this looks like from a student perspective. I'm now logged in as a student, and something that Moodle doesn't do very well is give access to self-enroll courses in an easy to find place. So I'll show you how to find it. You may want to put a link on your front page or on the dashboard two courses that are self-enrolled courses specifically if you want everyone to access them and use them i would just put in a html block and put in a link straight to the course but to find it you go to all courses which is down at the bottom of the dashboard usually it may not be for you uh, in this case it's in one of these categories and it's called demonstration self-enroll course if a student decided to go into one of these other courses that they're not a member of, so maybe this creating visually awesome courses, it would come up with a, you cannot enroll yourself in this course, is the normal result that they get if they go into that course. But if they go into a course that has self-enroll, for example, demonstration self-enroll course, it now has self-enroll as an option and enroll me. Now it doesn't look very nice how it's displayed, but that's just how they do it. No enrollment key is required because we didn't set that up. The student can then just click on enroll me and they are now enrolled in the course and they can go and do this course that we've enabled as a self-enrolled course. So that's a, something that is a quite clever feature that you can do. You can create a course, you can make it self-enrolled for students or for users that are registered on the system. So this is not self-enrollment as in anybody, random person can just enroll or can access the system and enroll in a course. We're just looking at how your existing students can self-enroll in a course 
or you can give them a key to enroll in a course as well. So that's the process that you need to do. Uh, from then on, if we go back to our teacher view and look at our participants, you can see now that student number two is now enrolled as a student because that was the default setting, uh, not in any groups because we didn't set up groups to do that. But you can see how quick and simple that is to do. Just remember that difficult thing about uh, a student being able to find the course. Like I said, you may want to put something back here on the dashboard to say, here's a course I'd like you to self-enroll in. Uh, click on a link and take them straight to the self-enroll page, which is just the course page. Hope that's been useful to you. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Please feel free to check out the courses down the bottom in the comments. And if you need anything at all to do with the Moodle LMS or online learning and education, uh, let me know. Happy to talk, happy to chat. I'll talk to you soon.